under this radical abortion bill, an unhatched sea turtle would have more protections than an unborn human baby. Leader Schumer has once again scheduled a vote for tomorrow on the Abortion on Demand Until Birth Act. Now, my uh, distinguished colleague from Connecticut used the words radical and extreme a number of times in his remarks. Let me tell you what's radical and extreme about what's going to be voted on tomorrow. Under this radical abortion bill, an unhatched sea turtle would have more protections than an unborn human baby. If you look at federal law, if you were to take or destroy the eggs of a sea turtle, now I said the eggs, not the hatchlings, that's also a penalty, but the eggs. The criminal penalties are severe, up to a $100,000 fine and a year in prison. Now why? Why do we have laws in place that protect the eggs of a sea turtle or the eggs of eagles? Because when you destroy an egg, you're killing a pre-born baby sea turtle or a pre-born baby eagle. Yet when it comes to a preborn human baby, rather than a sea turtle, that baby will be stripped of all protections in all 50 states under the Democrats' bill they'll be voting on tomorrow. Is that what the America, the left wants? And the science is clear. It has come a long way since 1973. It's time for the law to catch up with great advances that have been made in science and technology, in medicine that indisputably show the humanity of an unborn child. Instead, however, the Democrats' radical abortion bill denies the science. Mother Teresa famously said, and I quote, I feel the greatest destroyer of peace today is abortion because it is a war against the child, a direct killing of the innocent child. She went on to say, and I quote, any country that accepts abortion is not teaching the people to love, but to use any violence to get what they want. And that is why the greatest destroyer of love and peace is abortion. That was Mother Teresa at the National Prayer Breakfast here in DC in 1994. In a nutshell, this radical bill would make the United States of America one of the most dangerous places in the world to be a preborn child. As I asked my colleagues in the hallway on the Democrat side, give us just one restriction you might put in place for abortion. You just don't hear a response to that. As the justices continue to deliberate in the Dobbs case, I pray that the court resists the intimidation tactics of the far left by sticking to the Constitution and repudiating the unprincipled and abominable Roe and Casey decisions. The court has the opportunity to make history and strike a blow for justice.